Hallelujah. Praise to the Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise to Alpha and Omega. Praise to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Yes. Praise to the Lord Jesus. Jesus. Bible tells us in the beginning, man and woman <laughs> sin against God. Yes. Bible man and woman. tells us in the beginning, when man and woman sin against God, yeah. God gave them the solution. Yeah. Solution of Messiah. Yeah. One day Messiah is going to come and destroy the evil. Yes. Approximately 2,000 years ago, yeah. Lord Jesus Christ, the Messiah, eternal Word of God, yeah. comes and dies on the cross for the sin of mankind. Yes, he did. So that man and woman again can stand in the presence of God. Amen. 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 Jesus Praise be to Jesus. Because of Lord Jesus Christ, yes. we are all redeemed and rescued. Amen. Because of Lord Jesus Christ, we can call God our Father. Hallelujah. What a privilege that is. Yeah. Yes, yes. Today, we want to talk about eternal word of God. Yes, yes. According to Islam, there is eternal word of God yes. called Quran. The Quran. According to Islamic tradition, according to Islamic tradition, AM 610, hmm. man called Muhammad yeah. claimed to receive this book as a revelation from angel yeah. until 632. That's right. Today, Muslims claim that we are reading exactly the same Quran right. which Muhammad received. Yep. Today, we simply want to look at that. Yes. Do Muslims read the same Quran Muhammad received? It's a good question. It's a very good question. What do you think? Everybody listen here. We're asking. We're asking. Okay, are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? No, I'm far from Muslim. Trust me. Are you a Muslim? Are you a Muslim? He's a he's afraid to tell to tell us what he is. So where are the bold, courageous Muslims? Where, where, are the, where are the Muslims out here? Okay, so we don't have any Muslims who will step forward. <laughs> it's a shame of being a Muslim. Is it embarrassing to be a Muslim? Okay, so we're looking for Muslims because we want to know from the time of Prophet Muhammad in the seventh century, do we still have the same Quran that you have in 2018? Now Muslims will tell us that yes, we, the words have not been changed from letter to letter, from dot to dot, sentences, nothing's been changed. And so... Sound by dot, letter by letter, sound by sound. Sound by sound. According to Sheikh, um, what's his name? Um, what's the Sheikh? That was the debate. Anyway. But the point is, is that we want to know, has the Quran changed? And if it has changed, then you have a problem. I love you. Yes. Should we continue? Let's continue. Let's continue. I have a picture here for Muslims. Yeah. In the picture, you can see a man who is sucking the breast of woman. My favorite verses. Your favorite verse. <laughs> Sir, is your favorite verse. It's supposed to be in the Quran. Can you just tell us? Where is this verse? Why is this verse missing? Can any Muslim tell us where is the verse, the missing verse of adult breast suckling in the Quran? Where is it? According to Islamic tradition, this picture was a real at the time of Muhammad. Yep, 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 yep. Adults were sucking the breast. If you are reading the same Quran which Muhammad received, yeah. where is this verse in that Quran? There are some Muslim ladies, you can even tell us, Muslim ladies. Yes. M Muslims, don't be shy. Don't be shy. We only want to know where is this missing verse in the Quran. Now, we want Muslims who take Islam. 
who take Islam seriously. Because clearly, a lot of Muslims don't understand or don't comprehend the fact that if there's a verse missing, then they claim that the um, Quran has been perfectly preserved since the 7th century is bogus. Okay. Yeah. So, since Muslims are shamed of that... They, they're shamed. Or oh, they're shy. Okay. They're shy. Are they shy? They're probably shy, yeah. They're shy to talk about it, yeah. So, let's look at the Islamic tradition and then see... Yeah. Do you read it or should I? Actually, read 28. Sahih Muslim 8, 34, 28. Okay, so you listen carefully, my Muslim friends, because this is to do with your, um, perfect your perfect Quran. So, listen. Zainab, daughter of Abu Salma, reported, I heard Um Salma, the wife of Allah's apostle, saying to Aisha, by Allah, I do not like to be seen by a young boy who has passed the period of fosterage. Whereupon she, Aisha, said, Why is it so? Salah, daughter of Suhail, came to Allah's messenger and said, Allah's messenger, I swear by Allah that I see in the face of Abu Hudaifa the signs of disgust on account of entering of Salim in the house. Whereupon Allah's messenger said, Suckle him. <laughs> Suckle him, he said. And then she, and then she rep replied, He has a beard. <laughs> but he said, he said, Suckle him. And, he rem and it will remove what is there. Expression of disgust on the face of Abdul Hudaifa. She said, I did that, and by Allah, I did not see any sign of disgust on the face of Abu Hadaifa. This is Muslim, Sahih Muslim 8, 34, 28. Yes. Wow. Let me just it down. Maybe the guy was hungry and eating. Yeah, you do have lots of ideas. Yeah, One, it could be. In Possibly. The yeah. Man called Muhammad, who's supposed to be the best example to mankind, yeah. turns the woman who is adult and then tells woman, let adult man to suckle your breast. Wow. Wow. Is it... You think it's funny? You, you, you think it's funny? I know. See? Teaching of Islam is not only funny, it's also disturbing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You see, you see, this is the problem with Muslims, beardless Muslims who don't take the faith, who don't take the faith seriously. We want to talk to Muslims who actually believe in Muhammad as a prophet and who believes that Allah is God. We want to speak to Muslims who take their religion seriously and don't take it as a joke. Okay. So, yes. Right, so we come closer, come closer. We got here. So come closer. <laughs> Why is the verse missing from your Quran? Do, do you not have a problem with a verse missing in your Quran? Oh, you don't care? Oh, oh here we go. The, the Muslim doesn't care that a verse is missing in the Quran. So is the Quran perfect? Is the Quran perfect? It, I said, I don't care what you, you don't care? He doesn't care. We want Muslims who do care. Muslims who do care about the Quran and Muslims who do care about what Allah has revealed. That's what we want. Yes. Since, since Muslim sir doesn't even bother. He doesn't bother. Why? Whole verse which has been practiced at the time of Muhammad. Yeah. A man who had a beard in his face. Yeah. Times. Yet oh. Muslims think there is nothing wrong, that verse is not in the Quran. Wow. I wow. am grateful that verse is not in the Quran yeah. because this 
auction is very ugly. It is very ugly. Let's Distasteful. Look at Let's look at another tradition. Yeah. Sahih Bukhari, yeah. 8, 34, 25. Okay. Okay, how do I know it is missing? If it is missing or not. I have the Quran here. I read it. I couldn't find it in the Quran. Yeah. Can you find it in the Quran? How do you know if it's supposed to be there? Can you find it from the Quran? Okay, we, we will explain. We'll just read the hadith where yeah. she says missing. So, let's read another tradition and then see how this was revelation to Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, 34, 25. Okay, we're going to read 34. Hold on to that question. We're going to explain that to you in a minute. Yeah. So, 34, 25. We're going to read the hadith first and we're going to show you how it's missing. Yeah. Okay, Aisha. Um, Aisha, um, Allah be pleased with her. Report it. That Salim, the free slave of Abu Had Hudayfa, lived with him and his family in their house. She, i.e. the daughter of Suhil, came to Allah's apostle and said, Salim has attained puberty as men attain and he understands what they understand. And he enters our house freely. I, however, perceive that something rankles in his heart of Abu Hudayfa. <laughs> Whereupon Allah's apostle um, said to her, suckle him. You would become, uh, uh, and you will become unlawful for him. And the rankling which Abu Hudayfa feels in his heart will disappear. She returned, said, so I suckled him. And that, and what was there in the heart of Abu Hudayfa disappeared. That's Muslim, eight, 3425. So let me break it down. Very again. shameful. What's the meaning? Let, let me break it down. Well, you're going to break it down for you. That Listen. A woman yeah. who is not happy, a young man who has got beard in his face, comes to her house quite often. She feels there is something creepy going on. Yeah, yeah. She goes to Muhammad and then says, We need a solution for this. Yeah. Solution is. For you to be able to sit together, sit together, that without any lustful feelings to one another, he needs to suck your breast. Wow. Is that a lot? Wow, wow. So, wow. are you Muslim? Eh. So, we have a Muslim who turns up Sahih Muslim lying. It comes from Sahih Muslim and take the photo so, so from Sahih me. Muslim. Yeah. Sahih Muslim is yeah. a liar. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so so you, you need you need to expand your vocabulary. Yes? Yes, liar is not the only word. What I'm saying is so we're reading Sahih Muslim, right? Are you saying Sahih Muslim is lying? Is uh, what do I mean Sahih Muslim? Is Sahih Muslim lying? See the problem with Muslims is we read their own source. We read their own Quran. We read their own um, Sirah. We read their own verses, but yet they say we're lying, but we're reading their source. Oh, uh, come on, guys. Come on, guys. Okay, so explain to us. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Uh, listen, listen, listen. listen. Let's let's you, don't, you, don't like, you don't like what you're saying, that's why. You don't like the word. You don't, you, you, uh, you don't like what the Quran has to say, and you don't like the what the the Sahih, Sahih Muslims are lying. Okay, Sahih Muslims are lying. Okay, so, go on, go on. Let's go another hadith. Put our water and then see. We can make longer picture of this. Can you read it for us from yeah. this part? Uh, book thirty, book thirty, yeah, chapter. Yeah. Right, right. Okay, okay, okay. Listen, listen. Yeah. Related to oh oh Sahil bin all right this one yeah okay Salha bin Suhail who was the wife of Abu Hudayfa and one of the tribe of Amr bin Luyal came to the messenger of Allah and said messenger of Allah we think of Salim as a son and he comes in to see me while I am uncovered. 
We only have one room. So what do you think about the situation? The Messenger of Allah um, said, give him five drinks of your milk and he will be mahram by it. She then saw him as a foster son. Aisha um, al um, took that as precedent for whatever men she wanted to be able to come to see her. She ordered her sister, Um Kufum bint Abi Bakr as Sadiq, and the daughters of her brother to give milk to whichever men she wanted to be able to come in to see her. The rest of the wives of the prophets refused to let anyone come into them by such nursing. They said, no, by Allah, we think that what the Messenger of Allah may, uh, of Allah ordered Salah bin Asula to do was only an indulgence concerning the nursing of Salim alone. No, by Allah, no one will come in upon us by such nursing. Shall I keep reading? This is what the wives of the prophets, may Allah, uh, uh, thought about the suckling of an older person. So even the wives, even the wives, are you not even listening, are you? Bro, you're not listening. You're not talking and you're not listening. At the time of Muhammad, yeah, okay, okay, listen, listen, listen. At the time of Muhammad, this man who supposed to be all example to mankind, yep. find the solution to the problem. Ah. The problem is, yeah. there is a man who comes to my house. Man who comes to my house, yep. he is Adulma. Yeah. How I, what I can do to be lawful to her, him. Yeah. Muhammad gives the solution. Solution is, you need, that, you need that man to suckle your breast, your breast for 10 times. 10 times. From that on, <laughs> wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Of course, wives of Muhammad, they are a bit clever than Muhammad. Yeah, yeah, they yeah. Say, a bit more common sense. They yeah. say yeah. that is not nice. No. They say that is not acceptable. No. Therefore, we don't want that. That's right, that's right, that's right. And they refuse to practice it. That's right. Yet, Muhammad, who claims to have the revelation from Allah, says this is what you need to practice. Right. Right. So, is, <coughs> is that Boris Johnson's fine <laughs> This is okay. not Boris Johnson. Has any, nothing to do with Boris Johnson. It has something to do with Islam and the teachings of Muhammad. Yeah. Where Muhammad says to the woman, for that man who has a beard in his face, for him to be lawful to you, you need to allow him to suckle your breast. And the woman, and the woman said to Muhammad, but he's a grown man, how can I let him suckle yeah, me? Yeah, and yeah, then Muhammad said, yeah, yeah. as woman refused to do that, Muhammad says, go for it. Go for it. <laughs> We're reading this. Can you? Are you not listening? You don't even listening. So, my gosh. So let's say, the you don't even listen. You don't even care. You don't even listening. We read it about three times. No, we are reading. Okay, 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 okay. So let me tell you how we know it is missing in the Quran. How do you know? Yeah, how do you determine? Yeah. We're going to, we're going to show you now. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Wait, wait. I showed that. Hey, hey, brother, brother. Yo, no, wait, 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 yo, yo. Hey, hey. You've been asking the question about five times. Now listen, we're answering now. Listen, yes. It was narrated that Aisha said, the verse of stoning and breastfeeding an adult uh -huh. ten times revealed. Yes. And the paper was under my pillow. When the messenger of Allah died, we were occupied with his death. A ten ship came and ate did you hear that? Did you, did you hear? Hold on, hold on, sir. 
Wait, 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 don't listen. No, did no, you no, hear no. what we just read? How do you know if it's in the Quran? I just want to know how do you know? We've just, so, did, oh, okay, wait, wait, hold on, let's just spin this around. Did you hear what you just read? I just read. What did, what did we just read? I mean, she, she said that there, there was a first missing. I mean, no, no, what did we just read? Brother, listen, you're not listening. Yeah, I am listening, but you, yeah, about, yeah. Stoning or something like that. Breast breastfeeding. Stoning and breastfeeding. Same time. And what did we say about? What did it say on that verse? You didn't. You didn't listen to what we said. Oh, we're gonna read it one more time. Read it. One, shall I read it one more time? Okay. One more time. This yeah. time, please, please. Open your ears. Open your ears. Okay. Look at the image. And I, don't want, I don't want to see a uh, current woman. I don't want to see it. I know this. The verse of Stoney and breastfeeding. Listen, Hannah listen. Ten times was revealed. And the paper was under my pillow. Okay. The, listen, listen. When the Talking and listening. When the Prophet died, they were preoccupied with his death. And a tame sheep came and ate it. Aisha put the verse as a revelation under her pillow. Yeah. What happened was, suddenly a ship enters in the house, and of course this ship must have very good sense of smell, <laughs> smells all around, goes and then finds the verse, yeah. which is under the pillow of Aisha. And what happens is, ship just eats the verse. Yeah. And verse is not dead. Poor, 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 poor May verse. Allah, poor God, verse. The goat. <laughs> May Allah curse the goat. Curse the goat. <laughs> yes. So a sheep ate the revelation. So the revelation was revealed ten times. A sheep went in, ate the revelation. You no longer have it. So it's missing. With your mind, do you think that God will allow a verse to be eaten by sheep? Baba, have we not just read you your source? So the question is, God, this guy. who is he, all is all wise, no, 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 no. Yeah. how can yeah. God allow a sheep, animal to come and eat his eternal birth? It already confirms for us. That's right. Allah, Allah is a false God. Is a false God. Allah could not even protest his birth from a sheep. Right, right. That is all that, that, That's very sad. That's very sad. That's very so sad. What are the practical things Allah could do to protect this word, sir? Uh, uh, sir, sir, sir. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Okay, hey, hey, leave, leave. So, hey, what, what practical things could Allah do to protect... Oh, so, hey, hey. Uh, you're not listening. You're not listening. So, we want to know... Why is it Allah could not protect his own words? Why could he not prevent the sheep from eating his revelations that is given to Muhammad? And we want a solution from you. Give a solution. Give us a solution. How is it that Allah could not protect his word from being eaten by a sheep? And if you have a solution or alternative, give it to us. Bro, you're not even listening, are you? You just got it again. Go on, can you give us an answer? We don't believe that's not true. You don't believe it's true? No. So you don't believe Sahil Bukhari is true? Sahil is I know, how is that possible? Let me give you some possible You're not interested. You're not interested. Could you take some pictures of Palestine as well? Let me give you some alternative shots of that Some pictures in Palestine, please. Oh, no. Can you do that? I show just a child. Yeah. Aisha was only 15 years old oh, when Muhammad died. Sorry, 18 years old. 18, yeah, yeah, 18 years old. When Muhammad died. Yeah. So, Aisha still wasn't able to do all the houseworks very well. Yeah. And in the hadith, Aisha says, their focus was with the death of Muhammad. Yeah. Their focus was not to protect the word of God. Ah. Their focus yeah. was the death of Muhammad. Yeah. Yeah. Therefore, a sheep comes to the house, finds the verse under the Aisha's pillow, and eats the verse. Today, this verse is not in the Quran. This verse is not in the Quran. Yeah, is it? Here's the example of what happened. The verse is not in the Quran. As you can see in the picture, a sheep comes to the house of 
Aisha and then finds the Quranic verses and then eat the Quranic verses. Here you go, here you go, here's your sheep. Here's your sheep. That was... <laughs> here's the sheep that ate. So, 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 so the question is, what, what, why would, why would he allow this? And what for you is more important, the preservation of God's word for eternity or a prophet's death? Which one is more important? Which one is more important? Because Aisha prioritized Muhammad's death over Allah's word. I know it, it sounds ridiculous, doesn't it? It's a, yeah, it does sound ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> That's why they're saying That's why they're here. That's what we're saying. Because they're saying, how can people accept it? Muslim culture. Wow. A God, yeah, yeah. which is the lowest of powers, yeah. is powerful enough to eat the word of Allah. Powerful. So powerful she. It happened in the 7th century. Yeah. Muhammad told people, if you want to sit with the adult, Yeah. That was practiced at the time of Muhammad. Yeah, yeah. It was practiced at the time of Muhammad. Even though Only words of one Muhammad one. were not happy about it. <laughs> no, no, I shouldn't say that. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not, you're not. You're not. Yeah. And you crazy women. <laughs> so you've been circling? Yeah, you should, you guys. Come in here, don't. You should not encourage me. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. you're right. You're right. God, you crazy. I, I saw so, that, just ignore it, just ignore it. You have no respect. Yes, we have. No respect. Part of your son of is, this is, this is a representation of Islam. This is Islam for you. Yes. We all know Allah is not a boy. Allah is a son. Allah who a son. Very weak. Allah doesn't even protect his God from a ship. Okay. Okay. So, so, uh, so, are there any other Muslims who will be able to tell us? Why is it? Why is it that Allah could not preserve His words? Any Muslims? You don't. You don't care. You don't care. Okay, so Muslims don't care. All right, that's fine. Allah is whatever. Okay. Revealed at the time of Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad. Yeah. Muhammad told people, if you want to be lawful, if you want to sit with a man in the same room. Interesting is the fact that although Muhammad could not say, could, um, gave advice to suckle a grown man with a big beard to suckle the breasts of a woman, his wives had the common sense to say, No, we are not going to do that. That's despicable, that's disgusting, and that's distasteful. A grown man should not be able to suckle the breasts of a woman. And so you have the you have the prophet who's supposed to be the perfect role model or example for all mankind, but yet his wives have more common sense that an adult cannot suckle the breast of a woman. And so no wonder somehow 
Um, it's embarrassing, it's shameful, and it's something that I would never take seriously. Muslim tells us this makes Muhammad best role model for us. Yeah. He is not my example. No way. And with these teachings, he can never be my example. No way. I am a Christian woman. Godwin, how many times we sit in a room together? How many times we sit? <laughs> many Not times, sometimes. many times. Yes. Sometimes. How many times you read it from the Bible? Yeah. Bible tells you suckle my breath. Oh, God forbid. No, I've never read that before. So, Bible yeah. doesn't teach that. Yes. Christians don't do that. No, we don't when do that. When I sit with my brother in one room or with another man in one room, yeah. my brain says doesn't go Yeah. Bible tells us when we look at the teachings of Jesus. Yeah. Jesus never teaches such a thing. No. Jesus never. Jesus was able to sit with, with women. women yep. In the same place. Yeah. Jesus was able to sit with a woman alone. Yes. Yet, yet nowhere in the Bible. Yeah. We have the records of Jesus. Jesus says. Man must suffer, not only one, but ten times the breast of woman. <laughs> that is not the teachings of Christianity. That is not the teachings of Christ. Yes. Bible tells us, I can sit with men, men and women. Mm. I can sit with men without, without focusing my mind to lustful things. Absolutely, absolutely. And you know, when you look at the passages in the Bible, you see many of Christ's disciples, you know, you, you have the story of Mary and Martha, and they'll sit, sit by the feet of Jesus. You know, many women would come to him, and you know, the woman with the, with the alabasca box, and many, he had many disciples and women would come, and there was never this perverse, kind of um, lustful, you know, uh, you know um, thing going on between the two of them. He would love them, he would teach them, he would disciple them, he would encourage them, he would bless them, but never would he, would he um, allow them to come in to indulge in these type of practices. And so the better example, the better solution for mankind is not Muhammad, but is Jesus Christ. And we would encourage all Muslims to come to know the one who gives us a true uh, sense of dignity for who we are, whether you're a woman or a man. He'll give you a sense of purpose and it's only found in his words and his life and his teachings and also his example. Come to Jesus. Amen. Amen. Amen.